Welcome back. We are thrilled to have Jamie and Bobby Dean in our studios this morning as authors and restaurant entrepreneurs. The brothers stay really, really busy. They've been on a book tour since late this summer, and perhaps you spotted them recently cooking for a national TV audience in the Big Apple. They've been all over the place. Welcome, Jamie and Bobby Dean. Good morning, guys. Good Jamie, morning. Good to see you, Bob. How you doing? Nice hey, to nice see you. Stretch. Yeah, I'm in, the, I'm in the fighting chair. You're in the fighting chair. We put you in the fighting chair. <laughs> All right, so how's, this, how's it going? You guys have been traveling uh, your heinies off. <laughs> yeah. We, we're glad to be home. We've been uh, out traveling for seven or eight weeks. Eight weeks. On and off. Eight weeks. So it's exciting to have a new book come out, but it's, uh, the book tour is, you know, seven or eight trips over a year is fun. Seven or eight trips in ten weeks is That's it's, it's exhausting. Yeah, so we're glad to be home. That's good. You have a son. I do, my son Jack, so it's hard for me to be away from him. Yeah. Uh, but we're home for the holidays now, and... Uh, you know, we're lucky to have the opportunity to do the work. Gotcha. All right, let's put the book up on the screen. It's real cool. You guys, uh, it's the Dean Brothers. Take it easy, quick and affordable meals for the whole family. The right. whole family will love. Yep. Gosh, I didn't get the whole title. It's a long one. <laughs> it's a long one. Um, we're a complicated duo. <laughs> <laughs> we're very deep. <laughs> very deep folks here. Uh, you guys say that, that a lot of this book was inspired by your family traditions. Is that true? Yeah. Well, well, I think Bobby and I cook what we know and what we're, you know, grown up eating and, and doing our whole life. We had had a opportunity to be uh, formally trained in eating. <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> so we're from Albany, Georgia, so it's, and, and we, we kind of did it for our lives that we, because we're so busy and sure. uh, it's easy recipes for families and everything's 45 minutes or less. So it's a good book. People are enjoying it. But you can see, you can definitely see the influences in the book. You'll see uh, it's easy to identify the things that we saw growing up in the 70s, like the crock pot cooking, you know, oh, yeah. slow cooking. You'll see where um, our mom's influence, our grandmother's influence was. And me as a single guy, you'll see the simple dishes. That, Every side you, dish of Bobby's is beer. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I got a little something to razz him a little later on. Don't you really? worry about that? Oh, oh no. yeah, I do. All right, your restaurant, Lady and Son's Restaurant uh, in downtown Savannah, it's busy all the time. Do you guys see it pick up when it's around the holidays and people have a lot of folks in, you know, visiting, family visiting? Well, this is a good time of year. We're excited to um, for, for the local people because there's not as many folks traveling in, and uh, the locals helped us build our business. And we love to see the locals. And this time of year, we do a lot of uh, catering for different companies, Christmas parties, and we have a bank. A lot of pickups at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Come in and have so. It's kind of this is a time for us to see our local friends more, and yeah. then we'll, we'll pick back up with all the travelers in the spring. How did 2009 compare to, you know, some good years? Well, you know, we were really only, you know, we felt it just like everybody else did. Our, our business dipped a little bit, but we are, um, you know, the power of television is remarkable, and we're really <laughs> fortunate. And our mom's, uh, our mom's brand and who she is is really strong, and, and people, fortunately, you know, six, seven million people a year come to Savannah, and uh, a lot of those people come, come to see us. So it was off, and we felt it, but, but only... You know, if I had to put a, a number on it, I'd say five to eight percent probably. We were, we were down as a business for the year, but uh, but that's not bad at all. You know, yeah. compared to a lot of other places. Sure. All right. Well, I don't think we mentioned it, but I don't see how we really have to. But Paula Dean is your mom. Yeah. And um, tomorrow, your mom's going to give the money that she earned on "Are You Smarter Than a Fifth that's Grader?" Right. right to that's the right. Bethesda that's Home right. for Boys. Uh -huh. All right, let's look at some of this video. What a hoot, so huh? Fun. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, Bobby, you were there. I was there. Were you proud of your mom? <laughs> I was. She was. I was shocked at how many answers she actually knew. How, did you know the answers? I knew some. Okay. You know, but that show is, uh, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes us all feel a little silly, doesn't it? It does. You know, I don't, I don't remember some of these questions in fifth grade. The uh, truth is, you know what, she's a really good sport for doing it. Oh, she's, Putting herself out there, you know. She's the first to laugh at, her, at herself. But she did really well, and she earned, I think, uh, well, I know she earned a nice chunk of money for, for Bethesda, awesome. so she was really proud of that. She wanted to go for the, uh, you know, she wanted to, to, to parlay it into a, a, a big sum of money, but she, um, when she got, I think, about halfway there, she realized that she was going to be gambling with Bethesda's money, and she didn't want to have to stroke them a check if she lost. So. Smart lady. Smart lady. That's Took what she could get. Oh, man. We got to ask, you know, we, we know that she's okay, but she's totally fine from the ham incident. Yeah, Poor fine. thing. Yeah, she's a much bigger ham than that little bitty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I was trying to figure out how come the people she was passing the, the hams to wanted to reload the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a moment there. Um, I got an, another moment we want to bring up here. This is for Bobby. All right. Do you remember uh, Let's Be Frank? We were kind of yeah. chatting about yeah, your yeah. single life. Absolutely. You know? We were in, uh, at Grayson Stadium, yeah. Frank, and I did that. And chatting about like the qualities that uh, you'd like in a woman. Yep. Any luck? Got a love in your life? Um, 
<laughs> Look at that. Tell us. Bobby, come on. You say you're not shy. You know what? I, I believe I remember telling Frank that I liked, um, you know, nice southern girls, and, and I actually have met a really nice southern girl sort of by chance. My mom introduced me to her. She's nice. from Pensacola. Real, real sweet girl. And um, Trust the mom, right? About time. Yeah. yeah. You know? All right. We got to get this out because you guys were so generous to give us books to give away. So let's put the information up on the screen right now. Of course, the book is in stores as we speak, but if you want one of these books. We have a few to give away. Please email me right now, jkiss at thecoastalsource.com. I promise I will check both my inbox and my junk box <laughs> and make it fair for everybody. I will be looking at the timestamp on those emails. I'll let you know via email if you want. Thank you very cool. much, guys, for being right. here. Thanks, so Jessica. nice to see you. Great on to see you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for All allowing right. me to put you on the you hot bet. seat. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll be back in a little bit.